For the airfoil, we use scissors, a pencil, straw, a ruler, and a normal piece of printer paper. First, you take the ruler and measure out a piece of paper 5 inches wide. Then, fold the piece of paper on that line as shown here. Once folded, unfold the piece of paper and cut along the crease. This will give you two pieces of paper that will be used for the, for the airfoil. The next step is to fold the 5 inch wide piece of paper in half. Next, fold the piece of paper in half. This will complete the raw shape of the airfoil. Next, take two pieces of tape and tape over the open edge of the airfoil. Next, take the straw and cut to a length of 5 inches. This will form the front edge of the airfoil. Take the straw and place in the folded edge of the airfoil. This will allow for the front edge to keep the shape while in use inside the wind tunnel. The next step is to fold the airfoil into the desired shape. Once the airfoil is formed, take the ruler and measure out two hole placements four inches apart. Next, use a hole punch and place the holes in the airfoil. If a hole punch is not available, use scissors as shown here. Next, cut the remaining straw in half and place it through the holes in the airfoil. Then, use two pieces of clear tape to secure the straws in place. With the completed airfoil, make sure the straws are aligned and placed onto the test base. Assure that the leading edge of the airfoil is in the direction of the arrow on the test base. Check to see if the airfoil moves freely up and down. You have now completed the construction of the airfoil. Have fun!